I woke up this morning at 6 a.m. I needed to get changed. I needed something more comfortable to wear. I looked out my window. I opened my window. And it was warmer today. So, I knew that I couldn't wear my coat and everything else that I wore the day before. The day before was much colder. So I went to my closet, I looked around, and I noticed that I had a lot of shirts and clothes that I haven't worn since I've been in high school. Clothes that I haven't worn for maybe 10 years longer. So I looked around, I saw one shirt, I haven't worn that in quite a while, another one, and that one doesn't quite fit me. This shirt. I don't really care for the color of it. The next shirt. I don't really like the design that's on it. Another shirt. This really isn't my style anymore. The next one. This color won't match the pants that I'm wearing. This one isn't very comfortable. This one isn't the right size. I kept looking and eventually I just found this thin coat. It helps keep you warm, but because it's thin, it doesn't keep you too warm. And being that it's Ohio, you never know what the weather is going to be like. And one day it can be snowing and you can have a heat wave all at the same time. So I looked around my bedroom and it needed cleaned, my clothes needed folded, the drawers needed organized with all the clothes in them, I needed to do my laundry. Then I walked to my kitchen, the leaves outside in the trees were very orange, it wasn't too long ago that they were green, but fall is already here. Then, I went to my cupboard. I opened the cupboard and pulled out a red mug. It's the one that I drink out of for drinking my tea. I poured in some water, put it in the microwave, set the microwave to two minutes, and then I pushed start. I stood there thinking about what I'm going to do for the day my plans, the things that I'm going to draw. I stood there looking out the window for those two minutes while the water was heating up in the cup. I looked outside, the skies had an overcast. There was a little bit of wind as I seen that some of the leaves and trees were being blown off. The ground is starting to become covered by leaves. Fall is definitely here. The microwave beeped, which interrupted my thought process. I opened the microwave, pulled the cup out, set it on the table. I took three tea bags and put it in my cup to make green tea. I stood there holding the cup. It was warm. I usually hold the cup when it's a very cold winter day to help warm me up, but I didn't need that today. I set the cup down, I let it steep for a couple of minutes, and then I went to my drawing table to do some drawing. I started drawing for about half an hour. I was almost done with the drawing, maybe 10 or 15 more minutes I would be complete. And then I remembered that my tea should be ready by now. I walked back to the kitchen. I picked up the cup. The tea was no longer steaming and hot. It was cool enough for me to drink it. I took the tea bags out, gave it a taste, and it was good. I stood at the window thinking, 
What are my next plans for drawing? What will I create now? I've done a lot of organic doodles and drawing in my sketchbook, the De La Rowney, but today I'm going to draw in my moleskin sketchbook. I want that smoothness of the pen on the paper. And then I thought to myself about how many sketchbooks that I actually have to fill up. I often collect sketchbooks and I like trying different ones out to see how the paper is compared to the other ones. Some of them have smooth paper, while others have rougher paper that isn't suited for drawing with technical pens such as the roaching isograph. So I went back to my table where my computer is located just beside me. I looked around, I found some music to listen to. I opened my blinds to let in some light. I used the light to help me with drawing rather than using the softbox lights I have during the day. It was still overcast out, but the trees were very colorful outside which inspired me and gave me new ideas for things to draw. Although they may be in the same theme, such as trees, leaves, and other organic and nature themed doodles, I went ahead and went with it. And I just started drawing. And that's when I started drawing this doodle that you're seeing here. The drawing took me about an hour and a half to complete in total. My tea was sitting there beside me, and I'd finished it up. So I went back to the kitchen, reused the tea bags, and made some more tea. I stood there at the window, just thinking, What shall I doodle? What shall I doodle next? Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Have fun drawing, and I will see you all later in the next video. Later.